Thank you for downloading the business card template from the Figma community. At the time of this recording, there's over 7,000 downloads of this file. So thank you for checking it out. We've made some updates that's gonna make creating great looking business cards in Figma even faster. Here's how it works. Select the frame that contains all of the cards. Press enter two times to select every instance of the card inside of the frame. Now change from custom to sample. Now you have new component property options that allow you to update all of this card information all at once right from component properties. For example, if you need to change the name to your real name, it's easy enough to type in your name and press enter. It's gonna update that on every single card. If you wanna update the title, that's just as easy. And maybe you don't want to show the website URL here and if you need to change your address, it's really easy to make all of these updates all at one time, right from the component properties area. And of course, if you wanted to update just an individual card, you can do that by selecting an individual card instance and then using the same component properties, where maybe someone in your company does wanna have the website appear on their business card. As you're in here and you decide that you need to start over, it's easy enough to do that as well. Simply go back into the cards frame, press enter twice to select all instances of cards, and then use the overflow menu to reset all changes. If you want to start from scratch, all you need to do is change from sample to custom, and then you can come up here, click on this custom card, and start designing whatever you want. Whatever you design in this custom area is going to appear in this card area, and you can still come back in here and change from custom to sample and back to custom again. I'm glad you found this template. Thanks for downloading it and giving it a try. If there's something you'd like to see me add in the next version, be sure to leave it in the comments in the Figma community.